biological or physical anthropology can be further subdivided into a series of specialties, depending on the kind of material that people work with and the questions that researchers ask. For example, primatologists study living populations of primates as a way of better understanding the variation within primates today so that we can better understand the environment out of which humans evolved in the past. Geneticists study patterns of variation within living populations of humans, but they also study ancient populations of humans by extracting DNA from fossils. Genetics helps us look at the relationship between populations and the timing of events in our evolutionary past. Biologists study patterns of adaptation and biological variation of living populations today, particularly as it relates to aspects of health and social change. Osteologists study human physical remains, our bones, as a way of addressing questions about health and trauma and disease in the past. Paleoanthropologists try to incorporate all of these perspectives into understanding the human fossil record. Paleoanthropology is inherently multidisciplinary. To develop knowledge of paleoanthropology and to develop a complete picture as possible of human evolution requires us to rely not only on experts across those very subfields of anthropology, but also information gathered by geologists and other researchers within the field to help understand the past. The human fossil record can be viewed as limited in some ways in the sense that there aren't that many fossils out there. But in reality, there's a wealth of data to use to help develop knowledge about our evolutionary past. Throughout this class, you will be introduced to methods, approaches, and the materials used by researchers across a variety of subfields to understand the events and circumstances around the major evolutionary changes in human history.